Hello, my beautiful loves. Welcome to your love reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. All right, let's see here. Spirit, what messages do we have for my Geminis, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for my Geminis. Okay. All right, so we've got the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. We have Temperance, Sagittarian Energy. We have the Ten of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, and we've got the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and we have the Fool, Aries Energy. So Gemini, this could be your side. This could be your person side. Take it as it resonates, okay? Under the deck, we have the hanged man in the reverse. So Piscean energy. So with the hanged man in the reverse and the four of pentacles in the reverse, this is automatically telling me that someone here is finally starting to move. There's a sense of movement. Someone has made a decision. They're opening up, letting go. You know, someone here, I feel like with temperance, um, they want healing and peace in this connection. With the Ten of Cups and the Two of Pentacles, someone here maybe for quite some time was on the fence as to whether or not they wanted this to go to the, the distance or whether or not this could go the distance, okay? Um, but with the Queen of Cups and the Fool, someone here is finally allowing themselves to fall in love, okay? Someone is allowing themselves to feel in this connection. Spirit, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have for my Geminis, please? So four of pentacles in the reverse and the three of swords. Someone here is releasing, maybe someone, it could be in this connection or it could be just, you know, from other things in their life. Someone here is deciding to release the heartache, release the pain. Now, someone here may even be releasing a third party because we've got the two of pentacles and the three of swords. Tell me about temperance. Four of Pentacles in the reverse again. Yes, yeah, someone here is definitely releasing something. So yeah, Five of Pentacles uh, uh, under the deck. Someone here is either leaving a third party situation out in the cold, and that can be romantic. It could just be a friend that was getting in the way, family that was getting in the way. I don't know. Whatever may have been getting in the way of this connection, they're, they're leaving it out in the cold. Or it could just be simple pain. It could be that this person was holding on to pain and heartache from past situations, and that was the blockage. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Okay, we've got the Eight of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups again. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, and the Ten of Swords. So I feel like someone here is starting to realize that um, they have to end something. Some, someone here was juggling something else. Now, it could just be that this person worked too much. It was something that was really starting to affect this connection, and it's got to go, okay? And this person is is realizing that with the, you know, the, the hanged man in the upright is waiting to come to a decision, gain that enlightenment, and with that in the reverse, someone here is coming to that conclusion. They've realized that something has to end because with the Ten of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and the Eight of Pentacles, there's a realization that someone here has a lot of love to give they have a lot of love to offer and someone here puts in a lot of work towards the connection and i feel that this person here is starting to realize that you know relationships are equal give and take okay someone's following their higher guidance here they're following their their intuition and look at this with the full card and the ten of cups someone here two of wands is making that decision to take the leap of faith and move towards their ten of cups we've got the ten of cups and the full right here too okay tell me about this queen of cups tell me about this queen of cups We've got the Eight of Cups in the reverse. So I feel like someone is coming back or someone doesn't want something to end. You know what I'm saying? Someone's coming back around. So this connection may have fallen apart. Okay, so this could also be an energy of with the Two of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. Do I really want this to end? Let's just say there is no third party. Let's just say someone walked away because they feel like the person on this side was non-committal. They weren't making a choice to commit in the connection. Someone here has to really face 
the reality that they may lose this connection if they don't commit. So I feel like someone's coming back around saying, you know what, let's do it. I'm going to take that leap of faith and put my heart out there. Tell me about the full card, the four of wands in the reverse. Yeah, someone here perhaps didn't want marriage. They didn't want stability. They didn't want to move in. They didn't want commitment. And now with the full card, someone's taking that leap of faith to move towards it. Okay. So under the deck, we have the two of swords. We were dealing with someone here that didn't know what they wanted. They didn't know what route they wanted to take in life. I'm going to flip this over because I usually don't have reversals in my decks. Spirit, what messages do we have for my Geminis, please? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. Okay, so we've got the chariot in the reverse, Cancerian energy, and we have the seven of swords. Spirit, what messages do we have here for my Geminis, please? Clarity, guidance. So we've got the um, Knight of Swords here, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. And we've got the Hermit, Virgo energy. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Geminis. Ooh, okay. So we've got the Six of Swords. And we have the Six of Wands in the reverse. Under the deck, we have the Lover's card, Gemini energy. Okay, so what we have happening here is there's a situation here where the person on this side, whom I feel is the person that walked away, okay, the person on this side um, with the chariot in the reverse felt like there was no decisions being made here. Um, the chariot in the upright talks about making a decision, but not just any decision, the right decision, a victorious decision, okay? And with the seven of swords, someone here is like, you know what, I need to get the hell out of here because this is not good for my life, okay? So someone here just dipped with the seven of swords. Someone here packed their things, left very quickly or just disappeared very quickly. Someone here just was like, you know what, this isn't for me. Someone taking advantage of me they're not giving me an answer and I'm starting to feel like this just isn't for me that's the energy that I'm getting okay with the knight of swords and the hermit I feel like we have someone here who was once chasing down a connection really pursuing and putting the work into a connection and we see that here, that with the, the Queen of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles, we see here that there was someone that put a lot of work into showing love, kindness, nurturing, caring, really it's going out of their way to take care of somebody, right? And I feel like now this person with the Hermit card has like, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a minute and pull back. I, I need to think about this. You know, I, I know I really wanted this at one point, but I, I don't think I want it anymore. With the Six of Swords and the Six of Wands in the reverse, we've got someone I feel that is walking away because they just don't see victory here. They just don't see uh success and they're not seeing a future anymore you see what i'm saying gemini someone here just that they're not seeing it anymore whereas once before they were so quick to pursue and fight and and really fight and want for this connection chase after it now they're just like eh. <laughs> you know, I, don't, I don't really see this coming together tell me about the chariot and the reverse Five of Cups. Yeah, someone here is very disappointed. They weren't happy that they had to walk away. They, they were just disappointed in the fact that someone wasn't making a decision. Um, you know, they kept trying to work on the connection and only receiving disappointment back. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. We've got the King of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. Um, I feel like someone stepped into their power. Someone said, you know what? I'm better than this. I know my worth and I don't deserve to be treated like this. If you don't see my worth and my value, then I do and I'm out. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I know I deserve so much better than this, and I definitely don't deserve to be robbed or taken advantage of or lied to or cheated on or whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? I'm worth more than that. So someone here stood their ground. They stood their ground. Tell me about the Knight of Swords, please. Tell me about the Knight of Swords, please. And the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, you see, someone here was once willing to invest a lot. They were chasing, investing a lot into the connection. Really, see, with the Chariot, at one point, there was a point in time here where, you know, someone thought that this was going to be great where someone really wanted to invest because they saw a future here, they saw a victory here, and now with the Queen of Swords, not so much. They're like, you know what, I, I think I need to put my guard up here. I, I think I need to put my boundaries up. I don't really trust the situation anymore. Tell me about the Hermit. The King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. So now we've got the King to the Queen of Cups, a true pair on the board. Someone's withdrawing their energy. 
Someone's withdrawing their energy. Someone's like, you know what? With the Knight of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy, Leo Sagittarius energy, and the Wheel of Fortune there, someone's like, you know what? I'm better off single. I'm going to go date. Whatever happens, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let go and let God here. I'm going to let the divine do what they got to do. I'm, I'm done chasing. You know, whatever's for me is for me. What's not for me is not for me. Okay. And I, I feel like someone is not putting forth the offer anymore. Someone's withdrawing their love, their attention, their affection, because the King of Cups and his divine masculine is someone who still has love, very sweet, very kind and all that good stuff, but they don't show feelings anymore. The King of Cups actually comes off as kind of distant. You know what I'm saying? He does. Tell me, and gender doesn't matter in tarot, guys. Tell me about the Six of Swords. Tell me about the Six of Swords. We've got the Two of Pentacles in the reverse. For for quite some time, someone here was like, eh, maybe this could work. Maybe this, someone had their foot out the door for a minute there. They were like, you know what? Maybe, you know, maybe if I just try a little bit harder, this will work. But now with the Two of Pentacles in the reverse, someone's dropping the ball. And look, Six of Swords under the deck again, the Nine of Swords and the Five of Wands. Someone's tired of fighting. Someone has spent sleepless nights, anxiety, worry, that someone here feels like their body hurts, like they've been beaten to freaking shit, you know what I'm saying? Like someone here is done, they're done fighting, they're done being in competition, they're done feeling jealous, unsafe, unstable, you know what I'm saying? They're just done with the drama, they're done with the drama. Tell me about the Six of Wands in the reverse. The judgment card in the reverse. Someone here does not even want to reconcile. See, we have an apology coming in uh, with this person that's come to realize that they want to take the leap of faith. And someone's just like, I don't, I'm not seeing it. I, I don't really think a second chance is necessary here because I don't, I don't, I'm not seeing it. Okay. We've got the lover's card under the deck here with the three of pentacles and the knight of cups. I feel like someone is now seeing the soul tie here. Someone's now seeing that, you know, the, 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 the lovers is the true twin flame. It is the true perfect counterpart. And now with the three of pentacles, someone's like, you know, we really were a perfect team, weren't we? You know what I'm saying? We, we really, could have had it all, right? You know, and now with this Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, someone's coming in, you know, wanting to show that cup of love, wanting to show the emotion, which maybe they didn't show before, you know, maybe they didn't show it before. Um, let's see here. Spirit, what challenge do we have here for my Geminis? The challenge, please. So we've got the Three of Cups in the reverse, the Magician, Virgo, Gemini energy, and the Ace of Wands. Someone here, I feel like we have someone here that's trying to manifest um, communication. Someone here is trying to manifest communication. And with the Three of Cups in the reverse, we're dealing with someone that doesn't want to uh, reconcile. You know what I'm saying? Someone here is trying to manifest a new beginning with someone that's really not interested in reconciling here. Um, someone here maybe is tired of feeling like a third party. They're trying to, they're tired of feeling like someone manipulates them and then goes out and talks to new people. Um, we're dealing with someone here who's really kind of sick and tired and disgusted of the, you know, tired. Someone's tired of being sick and tired. That's the energy I'm getting here. We've got the Wheel of Fortune. The tables are turning here, guys. Tables are turning. What is the outcome, please? The Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Whoa, that's way too many cards. I'm just interested, though. I'm going to take this. I know there are, these are a lot of cards, but this is pretty much where we're at here, okay? With the Wheel of Fortune and the Knight of Cups. So we've got this knight coming in, showing this love, showing their emotion, wanting to, you know what I'm saying, say, okay, I'm willing to show my heart now. And with the Wheel of Fortune, the tables have turned, okay? So we had this person here who was willing to give this person love, a lot of love, and this person didn't care. They pursued third parties or they just kind of stayed in this energy of, ah, I don't really know if this is what I want, right? You know what I'm saying? Now, this person stopped caring. This person wants to bring their love in. And what we have here is someone is cutting off this karmic cycle. This may be a karmic situation, guys, very strongly so, okay? We've got the Nine of Swords and the Seven of Cups. Someone left someone sitting and brewing in anxiety and fear and pain and overthinking and up all night. Someone literally gave the other 
person nightmares because they were trying to figure out what they wanted with the sun card and the nine of cups um now with the eight of swords and the eight of wands i feel like now that someone is no longer giving to a situation now we have this person chasing and pursuing because with the eight of swords they're all up in their head in fear that they are going to you know now this person is having fear that they are going to be ghosted or abandoned and left behind and with the justice card this is karma libra energy this is karma okay because this person was left in fear that they were giving so much love to somebody and getting nothing in return now this person stopped caring just when this person decides to say you know what let me just let me just let the love flow, right? You know, and now this person's like, I really don't care. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, I really just don't care. Um, yeah, so this is, you gotta be careful how you treat people, you know? Spirit, what messages do we have for my Geminis? Engagement in the reverse. I mean, this is, I don't, I'm not sure this is gonna come together, guys. Yeah, forgiving and learning in the reverse. Someone here doesn't wanna forgive, they don't wanna make up, they, this, someone does not want this to come back together, Gemini you know and i feel like so one person here is very passionate romantic feelings passion and heart to heart conversations someone here all of a sudden wants to feel they want to be passionate they want to open up their heart but it's too late because the connection has already come apart yeah it's all it's already come apart i feel like with playfulness and let your friends help you this person at one point was more uh worried about hanging out with their friends or keeping their options open being a player just taking things very lightly and now they're paying the price for it consequences have you know actions have consequences you know we're all a product of our our, our, our you know what we do okay uh you reap what you sow that's the bottom line all right and i i just as of right now at least i don't see this coming together okay i love you guys bye